this. My premise is that you would pray 10 times more. I guarantee that this is true for most people. I've said this for over 30 years. You'll pray 10 times more in the next year if you will schedule prayer time and if you will develop a few prayer lists. You schedule prayer time. You don't keep them all, and you don't always do the list. But with a schedule, that gives you a focus of when to pray. And again, you pray a lot outside of the schedule, but you all, that schedule, it's an appointment that you show up. And when you have a prayer list, it gives you focused on what to pray. And how many times I've sat in the prayer room, and I've had a prayer list for, I mean, it's going on 40 years now, a prayer list. And I, I've got several of them, and I'll go to the prayer meeting, and I'll be tired or, or unfocused, and and I'm so here I am, you know, the director of IHOP, and I don't know what to pray right now. You know, I got a full Bible, and I'm just blank. And I look at my prayer list, and I go, oh, yeah, now I remember. And I start going down my prayer list, and I never uh, do it exactly. I get off on whatever I want to get off on. But that prayer list gives me a, a, a thing of focus. And again, the goal isn't to finish the prayer list, and the goal is not to stay true to it. The goal is... is I use it just as a launching pad and a point of focus when I need it. And I need it a lot, and a lot of times I don't need it. And so I'm going to give you one of my uh, favorite and most used prayer lists. And I'm uh, calling this, these are prayers to strengthen our inner man. Meaning this is a list of ten requests under the acronym of fellowship. You know, F stands for the fear of God, E for endurance. We'll, we'll take the ten letters of fellowship and I, and I wanted a word where I could just sit there right there in the prayer room and just go right down it, and I've done that over the years. And the idea is uh, these prayers are for your inner man, meaning these aren't prayers for your ministry external. They're not prayers for your money. They're not prayers for revival in your city. I, that's another prayer list, those kind of things. This is a prayer f- uh, for you to enrich your heart before God using biblical promises and biblical prayers. Paragraph A, we considered intercessory prayer the last number of weeks, but now we're turning to the subject of devotional prayer. Now when I say devotional prayer, I mean prayer for communion with God and spiritual renewal. Paragraph B, in this type of prayer, we're focusing on intimacy with God. The uh, the premise that I, I mean, the prayer, the, the core uh, verse that we're building this around is Ephesians uh, chapter 3, verse 14 to 16. Paul said, Ephesians 3, verse 14, I bow my knees to the Father, here it is, that he would grant to you to be strengthened with supernatural might in your inner man. So Paul prayed for the saints in Ephesus. He goes, Lord, strengthen them. And their inner man, he prayed for their outer man, their physical body to be healed. He prayed for their ministry, their circumstances. But he was locking in to this idea of having might. I mean, just, just take a, a step back. Might in the inner man. I mean, that's a powerful picture. Might, divine might. Making my emotions fortified and strong. Divine might giving me clarity in my mind instead of confusion and fear and, and all the turmoil that is so normal in human experience. I believe that this prayer is one of the most important prayers in the whole Bible. Paragraph C. The inner man speaks of your mind, emotions, and will. The inner man is the part of your human makeup where you're most aware of your interaction with the Holy Spirit. It's in your mind and emotions where you're mostly aware of the Lord touching you and visiting you and speaking to you. Paragraph D. Your inner man, your mind, emotion, and will, you could call it your soul. Some people use that word, your soul. Your inner man is the only part of your humanity that you take to eternity. You're not going to take your CD that you made to eternity. You're not going to take your mailing list. You're not going to take your bank account. You're not going to take your popular ratings or your lack of popular ratings to eternity. You're going to take your inner man. You will have that forever. And that is the part of our life we should invest very intentionally into our inner man being strengthened. I believe it's 
that uh, praying for the, our inner man is one of the most neglected prayer focuses, yet one of the most, I mean, I believe it is the most important prayer focus, but the most neglected one probably in the whole body of Christ. And I want to encourage you to get a vision to pray regularly for your inner man, and I'm going to give you 10 prayers, and we won't probably even cover them all, but they're all just pretty straightforward and simple but uh, uh, the, the idea, I just want to uh, give you a vision and give you some motivation to launch out and begin to do that. Paragraph 2, under D. Just as our physical strength can increase or decrease, your spiritual strength can increase and decrease. I mean, the Holy Spirit's always the same. But I'm talking about your experience of it. There are seasons where spiritually you're, very, you're, you're experiencing far less. And other seasons, you're spiritually experiencing more. And we can uh, affect how much we're experiencing in our spiritual strength. Now, people will pay attention to their diet to get physical strength. They'll do some exercise. They'll do some things externally. But a lot of folks don't really put that kind of attention on spiritual strength. And my idea and my uh, uh, premise here is that this is the most important thing in our lives. I uh, compare this to taking vitamins. You know, when you take vitamins and you exercise on a regular basis, you may not feel any difference in, in the short term. Now, you took, I took vitamins today. I've taken vitamins for years, and I don't, know, I don't feel any different than I did yesterday. But you take vitamins over the years, the right ones, it's going to make a difference. But you, there's never a day, at least for me, where I feel the difference. Like, boy, this was the real. I mean, my wife gives me this hand, but the older I get, the bigger the handful of vitamins gets. And so I don't even know what they are. I just know it's a big handful. And I go, oh, man. She goes, do it. And, I, <laughs> and she says, do you feel better? I go, no. But I guarantee you, after years of doing this, that uh, my health is a lot better because of it. I mean, because she studies it out and you take the right ones. Anyway, spiritually, it's the same way. Not very often do you have a day where this is the day you can measure the spiritual uh, uh, increase of strength. Every now and then, you'll have a day like that where, wow, this was a big day. But mostly, the strength increases, and you don't, you can't measure it, you can't even tell. But you look back over a couple of years, and the strength has gone You've gone from strength to strength, not that you haven't had a bad day in, in, you know, in that season as well. Okay, paragraph E. This divine strengthening of our heart, in the middle of paragraph E, it equips us to stand against compromise. This divine strengthening of the inner man, to stand against depression, fear, jealousy, anxiety, rejection. Many of these normal human things we have to have strength to overcome them, and that strength is available in our inner man, but we need to cultivate that strength and not just kind of leave it to, well, if God wants to be strong, he'll make me strong. And Paul says, no, I pray for your inner man. And this is something I pray for myself, and these are prayers I pray for people that I'm interceding for. I go down this list, and I pray this, uh, these things for my wife, for my my uh, sons and, and their wives and our grandchildren and, and some of our leaders and the different ministries I'm connected to, I, I'll pray these prayers for their heart. Let's look at uh, top of page two. Let's uh, begin to look at this. We'll just take a minute on each one. Again, they're, they're quite self-explanatory, so we don't even really have to spend much time on them. And this is right out of the chapters of one of my books on, I mean, one of the chapters on the book on growing in prayer. This is just right out of that. Matter of fact, this whole course is right out of that book. But paragraph A, again, a prayer list, and I have several of them, is to focus your prayer time. And this is a prayer list of how I focus on praying for me, my internal life. I have, again, a prayer list where I pray for external things and for my ministry and for uh, cities and nations, etc. So I've identified 10 prayers to receive strength in your inner man. I use the acronym fellowship. And the reason I, I wanted it, I want to get a, and I'm thinking of fellowship with God is the idea. And the reason I wanted it, I want to just 
uh, uh, something I could just do. Of course, I've done it for enough years where it's pretty automatic, but still, it's remarkable how I've done this many, many times, but I sit down in the prayer room and go, hmm, I know I need a lot of help now. Where? Oh, yeah, yeah, fear of God. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, and, I, and, I, and I, it jump starts my focus. And again, I'll get way off the subject and won't finish it. And Or if I want to pray for my wife or pray for a friend, this is the list I go down when I pray for their, their inner life. 